I'm Matt Gallant and you're watching The List. From farmers markets to coffee shops around Charm City, Nikki Mayo shows us how a Baltimore coffee roaster is perking up business around town. Sometimes you need a little pep to perk up your day, and that's where an energetic espresso can help. Everybody wakes up, and you got to get that little kick to get you going. La Cakery in downtown Towson has a few new caffeinated choices to help you start your day. We just launched our espresso and cappuccino line, so we're going to be doing all sorts of great lattes, cappuccinos, even homemade hot chocolates. From the perfect beans to the perfect shot, it takes a lot of work to make that perfect cup of espresso. Owner Jason Hisley uses Zeke's coffee to give his drinks a little extra punch. We grind it to a certain um, espresso grind. Use our really, really nice Simonelli espresso machine. Pour hot water over it, get that nice crema. Mix in some steamed milk and swirl with coconut, Nutella, and all sorts of sweet treats. Plus, there are some health benefits to brewing and chewing. It's high in antioxidants, having a good kick of caffeine in the morning. Get your metabolism going so it actually can help you lose weight. But before Jason gets those beans, the team at Zeke's Roastery in Lauraville takes making coffee to new heights. We roast the best beans every day and have a great rotation to get the coffees out. We don't roast them until they're ordered from our wholesale customers. But what makes Zeke's uniquely Baltimore are some of their local sustainable and organic blends. From Armistead, Fells Point, Little Italy, to the Bad Birds of Baltimore, a Ravens Festivus roast, and their black and orange blend for the Orioles. There are a few tips to help you brew magic at home, like the pros. We don't uh, encourage people to buy more than they need for a week so that they can constantly have fresh roasted coffee. Happy drinking. For The List, I'm Nikki Mayo.